Starlings, Starlings, I'm back. I'm back with one of those videos. You're going to be mad, girl. You're going to be mad about what I'm going to say. But trust me, I'm not wrong. I'm right. <laughs> Listen. A lot of y'all are saying that how dear Chris says, Paige is not a trophy wife. You're going to be upset with what I'm about to say, but he not wrong. He's not wrong. She's not a trophy wife to him, to him, to somebody else she is, but to him, She's not a trophy wife. Yes, he's the come of the earth. He's terrible. He's awful. Take him out of the equation. Take Chris out. Put any man in there that don't think you're a trophy. In a way, he's the scum of the earth, but in a way, he's saying a lot of things that men are thinking that they're not saying, that he is now saying that I'm going to help you to understand. And one girl, I felt so bad for her. She said... You know, how dare y'all think that only light-skinned woman can be trophy wife? He didn't say that. Take him out the take him out the equation. Okay, let's take him out of the equation. Cause what's a trophy? A trophy is something you have to work hard for to get. Okay? You have to work hard for it. Oh, I forgot to. And these are his. Can y'all see that? That's the one on top. She looks real exotic. She looks like she's from the islands. She looks like she's Trinidadian. This first girl here is the first fiance. We're waiting for the other girls to come out. And then this is Paige. Okay. And so somebody said. She was offended that people was thinking only light-skinned women can be trophy. No. No, not only light-skinned women can be trophies. But you have to remember, what is a trophy? Newsflash, ladies, that's what we are. We are trophies, like it or not. Welcome back to Church Girls and Faith Girls Want to Get Married Too. My name is Janice. Thank you for your love and support. My mentor program is sure to sign up, subscribe. Uh, last two, three days to sign up for this special, this special for January. After that, is specials going away. Uh, this is included. You will get it in there. And uh, the Naked Wife is available on Amazon. In Christ I Am is available. 20 Tests of God, Your Mommy is available. Trophy Wife. Newsflash, that's what you are. You're a trophy. Proverbs 18.22, he, he that finds a wife. Find. Think about what you have to do to find. Hmm. This is why a lot of women are single because the men are not searching and finding. You got to dig in the in the mud in the rough, uh, a diamond in the rough. You got to climb over the mountains and you got to search for her. You got to look for her. Trophy. A wife is a crown to her husband. Trophy. Who for uh, Proverbs third? Who can find a virtuous woman? For her prize, her prize is far above Ruby's trophy. And so to Chris, Paige is not a trophy. But it's okay. To the man you date, the man you've been waiting 15, 20 years for him to marry you, to be your baby daddy, to be faithful to you, the man you don't have 55 kids, we're waiting for him to marry you, you're not a trophy to him. 
He's not willing to work for you. He's not willing to pay the price for you. And get this, get this, sit down, girl, because you're about to faint. He's not willing to die for you. Husbands, love your wives like Christ loves the church. How did Christ love the church? He died for her. You know why he died for her? Trophy. A lot of y'all women is on layaway. Have these men have you on layaway, taking you off the show floor, put you all the way in the back, in the back, in the corner, under the rug. So nobody else can see you and you've been waiting 15, 20 years for him to value, value you. And he hasn't yet and he will leave you 15 years with this man, 55 kids. And he will get up and leave you and your kids and your happy little home and go marry another woman he met five months ago. Why? He sees her and value her as a trophy. Oh, she's an accomplished woman. She got this, she got that. Uh-uh. They don't care about that. You're not a trophy to them. Take Chris out of the equation. He's the scum of the earth. He's terrible. He's awful. He shouldn't have said that out for everybody to hear it. But like I said in my other video, he is saying a lot of things that men think, but they're not saying it. This is what they think about us. I want you to understand this. And if you understand this, your dating uh, journey and your life would be so much easier. Those of you who's been shacking up for 55 years and being baby mama waiting for him to marry you, I want you to realize he doesn't see you as a trophy. Because if he did, girl, he would not try risking somebody coming to take you away from him. Why men marry us? They marry us because they want to say, I want her. I got her. I won. My husband's trying to marry me real quick. He said, I wasn't trying to let nobody come take you away from me. Why? I'm his trophy. Take Chris out of the equation. They have to value us. And if they don't value us, they will not pay the price. I'm trying to tell you all this. Ladies, that's dating. And a lot of you ladies wash, cook, clean, have sex, pop the legs up, climb, walk, call Jesus, and think he going to marry you because you can climb the wall and call Jesus. Uh-uh. He don't value. He don't see you as a trophy. Breathe. Take Chris out of the equation. Put any man in there. Men are hunters. What you think they're hunting for? They're hunting. Hunters come back with a spoil. When I go to these events with my husband, do you think the people compliment me on my books? No, they don't. You know what they say to him with me standing right? Oh, Michael, she's gorgeous. Oh, Michael, she's beautiful. <laughs> the wedding. <laughs> These people were vendors. Oh, Michael, she's gorgeous. She's beautiful. Trophy. Women, we were made to be one. Double H O N. One. We were made for men to die for us. We were made for them to pay a price for us. Remember, woman is a picture of the church. How did the church come about? Jesus had to die. Come on, y'all. So y'all getting mad and all emotional and see me, I look at it from both sides. I'm looking at it like he's not wrong. He doesn't see her as a trophy. 
And that's okay. Because there's somebody else out here that will see her as a trophy. Think about how many bad relationships you were in. That man was abusing, lying, cheating, stealing, cheating, carrying on. And then you finally decide to get up and you meet a wonderful man who is loving you, protecting you, and treating you right. Because he values you and see you as a drove. My husband, he said, I have never met a woman that I wanted to do all that I'm doing for you. He get up every day, go work. Well, not now, cool. Pay all these bills around me. I brought Lexi a little check. Lexi was getting, he said, uh uh, put that in the bag. I got this. I got this. He loved to, to pay for all this stuff. He loved to provide for me, girl. When I used to have perms, a doobie was $8. Do you think I paid with my own? I go, Mike, Lexi, now we want to go get our hair washed. Two, two, three hundred. Is that good? Yes. They want to do for us. They want to provide. They want to protect. Why? They value us. And I want you to realize those of y'all that's mean girlfriends for 15, 11 years, waiting for him to marry you, and you're popping the babies out because you want him to value you and see you as valuable and see you as a trophy. He don't, girl. Stop. My books are available on Amazon, The Naked Wild, uh, 20 Test Guys, In Christ I Am. You know why y'all sitting over here with 55 years? You, 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 you don't know who you are. The Naked One. I've got to go, girl. I love Let me know what you think. Let me know. Bye. Bye.